The Brigham. Legend says that 10 of Brigham's young wives were named Patty, so we put 10 Patties on our Brigham. That's as burly as it gets. Joel Hansen here, and we just tried to do a challenge and that didn't work out. So here we are doing round two, guys, or to plant to be. So here we are at Burley Burger, guys. Burley Burger, yes, Burley Burger. And in, in, fitting in Utah, we're in the middle of the mountains. Look at this, look at this view. You guys, like, I'm like surrounded by mountains. This is so dang cool. Here in Utah, just north of Salt Lake City, about half an hour, kind of Ogden. Um, kind of whatever area. So yeah, anyway, here to do the Burley Burger Challenge. I believe it's like a 10 patty burger. It's really big. You gotta have a milkshake, you have a thing of fries. Uh, I think it's 30 minutes to complete. If you do, you get a meal free. If not, it's 50-ish uh, dollars. So yeah, I get to choose kind of milkshake. I'll go see what they have, get some more details. But yeah, sounds really good. Here with our longtime friend and subscriber, Josh. Huge thanks to him for helping me get around today. And uh, yeah, guys, I just can't believe there's mountains right there. So let's go eat some food. Real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor today's video being Grammarly. So Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that I've been using actually for, well now, almost a year. It's super easy to get started. You just download the browser extension, create a free account, which will help you with basic grammar and spelling suggestions. However, where the real value comes in for myself is with the premium account. So how Grammarly has really allowed me to work more effectively and actually save time in my day. So when I'm writing emails or proposals, Grammarly's vocabulary suggestions are really, really effective, and that's using their AI technology. So with that, I'm using more effective words, more compelling words, and really able to get my point across because some of these proposals are big deals. In addition, Grammarly Premium's clarity suggestion. I need this a lot because if you've watched any of my outros, you know I like to repeat myself, so it's very important that I'm not repeating myself in these emails and proposals. And ultimately, that's by removing unnecessary words, etc. So save time on your work and your emails with Grammarly. Go to grammarly.com forward slash Joel to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today to help you save time and work more effectively. So click that link down below, check that on out, and with that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hi everyone, so we're here with the challenge. So it's a 10 patty burger. Got to order of fries with it as well. And then we have this crazy milkshake. So this is what they call an over the rim milkshake. I guess it's a Utah thing. So it's just like seeping all over. It's, you know, like a full four inches over the, 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 the side of the cup there. So yeah, guys, record is 15 minutes. I know a few of our friends, such as Derek Hendrickson, Nata Redder, has done this before. So ultimately, let's get in here. Let's get started. We're at 30 minutes, so have some fun. All right, so we're gonna get started here. It's Josh, gonna be our official timer today. So uh, we got 30 minutes, like I said. So Josh, wanna give us a wanna give us a countdown? Yeah, you gotta start in what, like five? Now let's do five. Yeah. So we'll say the count of five, four, three, two. Looks really good. One, let's go. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Burley Burger, which is about 30, 25, 30, 20 minutes just north of Salt Lake City, Utah. So super cool to be in Utah. This is my first time in Utah and I was very excited to be able to do my first challenge in Utah. I was in Utah on a layover. I specifically picked this uh, flight um, to have, it, it was about a four hour layover ultimately. I figured if I played my cards right, I would have just enough time to do a food challenge and get my plane. And so huge thanks to our friend Josh there, guys. He really helped me get around to the challenge and it was great to spend the afternoon with him. So again, guys, if you ever come to your area, definitely shoot me a message. I love hanging out with people. I love meeting you all. And yeah, it was absolutely, it was awesome. My experience in Utah was very, very, very pleasant. So here for the challenge, it is a big 10 patty burger. And then we have all the fries. Then we have the, what is apparently a milkshake, but oh my gosh, I would call that thing more like a blizzard or like a McFlurry, like it was thick. It's good. 
And in fact, I think it's very suiting for me to go, damn boy, he thick, because that was really, really, really thick. Um, but yeah, so you got to pick the flavor of the milkshake. I asked for, uh, I was like, asked to mix flavors. Um, I didn't actually end up getting it mixed. I just ended up with the uh, chocolate peanut butter or whatever it was, uh, which I mean was pretty good. I mean, how it's, it's ice cream, right? How can you go wrong with like soft serve ice cream and anything in it, let alone just going wrong with soft serve ice cream? Um, burger patties um, were uh, very nicely seasoned. There's a really good flavor on the burger. I would definitely say that like this would be a place that I would go just for a leisurely burger. And of course, I mean, there's nothing wrong with going for the challenge as well, which I did today. The fries were really nice as well. They also had a fry spice. So again, overall, no complaints with the food. It was very, very nicely cooked. It was very juicy. I really like the uh, theme of this restaurant as well. It's really hilarious. Like it plays into kind of like Utah. There's a lot of like lumberjack kind of stuff. They have shovels and pitchforks on the wall being like burly man utensils. It's probably about 245, 250 in. Very, very, very delicious. Really like the burgers, got the patties gone, just the fries, the milkshake, and the bun here. The challenge itself is called the Brigham and like it's literally, you know, playing uh, due to uh, Utah's uh, history of uh, Mormonism, talking about his multiple wives. Are you serious? It's a really, like I said, it's a really fun restaurant. It's a really funny restaurant. They had so many hilarious slogans and just, it was a really great environment overall. The people were very, very friendly and uh, we de I definitely enjoyed it. Like it was uh, overall, like the experience was great and the food was solid as well. Like I said, definitely no complaints. In fact, watching this, I really would like a burger right now. So let me know, are you guys also feeling burgers? Cause I'm definitely feeling burgers. Comment down below right now if you're feeling a bit of a burger. Oh, I'm definitely in a burger mood. Hashtag burger mood. The record for the challenge is about 14, 15 minutes. So I figured maybe we'd give that a go, but I also really wanted to enjoy it. Gotta leave no doubt. About four and a half minutes in. Just down to the milkshake, which is huge. I went with a bourbon caramel and a peanut butter cup. So that'll be delicious. So as I mentioned, the fries were actually really tasty. They had a really nice seasoning on them. So I took my time with it. I used my ketchup. I love ketchup, guys. It's something I really enjoy with burgers and fries. I don't think you can have burgers and fries without ketchup. Just not the same. But now let's get to this little milkshaker ice cream contraption. This is crazy how big it is over the cup. but it's more like a lizard. But with that, everybody, that's pretty much all the info I have for you today. So overall, very solid burger challenge. Great place, great people. I thought I'd let you get to the rest of the video. Let's see if we can finish it. And stay tuned for some more videos of Salt Lake City afterwards. So with that, I'll get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. It's got a proof. It's got a proof. I do.
about six minutes, 49 seconds. Very, very delicious, really enjoyed it. That milkshake was not a milkshake. It's like a full blown like McFlurry. But it's very, very good. Really enjoyed that burger, very tasty. So huge thanks to everybody here at Burley Burger. Really enjoyed it. We had a new record as well. So I'm gonna get the mail for free. Of course, if you're ever in the Utah area, be sure to stop by. And that's the next episode of How You're Happy Eating. Have a lovely day. Yeah. Uh, thank you. City and County building. That's beautiful. Huge too. Love the uh, love the architecture on it. And here in Salt Lake City, here we have the great big Mormon temple, which is under construction. That being said, we're here in a temple square. We have some uh, golden birds up there and all this cool temple-ish stuff. So yeah, one of the main kind of sites and some visitor highlights in Salt Lake City. It's pretty dang cool. In this coming year, you know, arguably, I don't know how it's looking either, you know? I mean, it's not like things are just coming to an end right away, right? So. City Creek. Yeah, we used to go there a couple times a year. Quite the spot, eh? Yeah. No, oh, it's a mountain. Everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes that's right, two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's going to end. So click one quick, let's go, let's go, and have a great day.